how did <clears throat> the Greek city-states manage to defeat the Persian Empire? Although the Battle of Thermopylae is typically held up as the turning point in world history, the Greek city-states as a whole, together, over many years, defeated the Persian invasions in the Battle of Marathon, Thermopylae, and Salamis. Um, some data before we start is that the Persians had a big space full of natural resources and they wanted to expand their empire. If Persia would have taken Greece, we would have had many things different that we don't have today. Point one, the Battle of Marathon. After, mili after Militides received a favorable omen, he moved his army into position. He allowed the center to be weak, but strengthened the wings it down and ordered the middleman to run forward toward the Persians, to, towards the Persians. And a mile away, um, the Persians thought that it was, quote, suicidal madness. The Persians chased after the Greeks, and they eventually ran. And they went into a valley and stepped and fought. The Greeks' army came from the sides and attacked and killed the Persians. Point two, the Battle of Thermopylae. Um, Tertreides finally sets out for revenge. His objectives were not only Athens, but also the whole of Greece. He knew that the Greeks were saved by the Athenians, and if he could take out the Athenians out, he could take over the whole of Greece. King Xerxes waited four days before attacking the Greek garrison. Uh, he sent two groups of soldiers who were easily repelled, and they sent 10,000 royal bodyguards, but they did not battle, but they did not uh they didn't bother. The Greeks had superior spears and armor, making it easy to defend. Then Xerxes offered terms demanding Leocides hands over his arms, and reply, he replied, quote, Leonides replied, quote, come and take them, end quote. The Greek told Xerxes a possibility to attack the Greeks from the rear. On the third day, Leonides, Le, Leonides learned of their plan of attack from behind. He told his men to die or well, because he would be the last. Leonides stayed because an oracle said that Sparta would either be destroyed or lose the king. He decided to stand and he decided to stand one. He decided the second one. The Greeks eventually killed everybody. They made it to Greece and said, tell the Spartans we remained obedient to their orders. Point three, the Battle of Salamis. The Persians made their way to Greece and take over. The Persians, they would only stay if, the Persians said they would only stay if they made a mistake of attacking the Greeks in the narrow and shallow bay. During the night, they sent a trusted slave to Xerxes and informed the, uh, to attack immediately because Greeks were leaving at dawn. Xerxes swallowed a bait. Xerxes swallowed the bait and entered the bay with his large navy. The Persians got attacked since the bay was narrow. The fleet got killed and defeated. A quote by Herodotus says the Greek admirals became very scared when they saw the Persian fleet approaching, and so decided to evacuate Salamis. End quote. So although the Battle of Thermopylae is typically held up as the turning point in world history, the Greek city-states as a whole that together over many years fought um, so that they wouldn't take over and defeat the Persian invasions actually changed it from the Battle of Marathon, Thermopylae, and Salamis. Thank you.